I was quite surprised with what happened today. Spoiler alert, I've already filmed the top down bit where I'm doing what I'm doing today, which is I'm consolidating cash in my binders. Now I have four binders, my everyday binder for my sinking funds, my savings challenges binder, a full binder dedicated to seven dice challenges. And I also have an A7 daily on the go binder as well. Even though everything that I have is secure and it's safe. Do not try and rob me bestie, it's just not gonna work out. But yeah, everything's safe, but I still don't wanna have a ton of cash on me, which can be really, really tough if you are a cash stuffer like I am. So every now and then I need to withdraw the money that I've got and use placeholders and put them into my bank. Placeholders take a lot of different forms, but these elite ones from my Etsy store are just so beautiful. I mean, don't be green with envy. <laughs> so what I'm actually doing is I'm going through all of my binders and finding where I've got money that is a little bit over £100. When it's over £100, I put a placeholder in and I take that money out and I put it into the bank. Later on in the video, I'm going to be putting that money into an electronic sinking funds. I do this every month and I never expect to have more than a couple of hundred quid to come out of those binders because I stuff them so slowly and like bit by bit. Like I'm stuffing four pounds, six pounds, like very, very little money, but it really adds up. So I'm really excited to show that to you. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at the top down view and bestie, let's get budgeting. Okay, here we are. I've got my binders here. I've also got the uh, placeholders I had from the last one. And I've also got an emergency pack of placeholders just in case I need them. So let's go through these binders. Let's see what I can do. I don't know what I can do. It feels like I do this really regularly, which I think is quite good practice for safety wise, but you never know. So let's start off with this binder here. So this is my binder where I have all of my just generic sinking funds. I know I've already done that car maintenance one. I did that when I was doing my Patreon stuffing. This has only got 85 in it and I don't touch these ones because they're my, and there's nothing to go back to the bank. I guess that's it, bestie. Um, <laughs> I guess that's the end of the video. Only joking, only joking. Let's just quickly go through these. Like, to be honest, these have been quite neglected recently because I've been focusing so much on my 100 envelope challenge, but uh, I don't know if I can actually do anything. So this is 45. I suppose if I put, I need to put 55 into there and I'm not really thinking about clothing at the moment. Uh, that's empty. iPad, we did. That's got 640. Um, so that's looking good, but can't really do anything with that. Uh, ice cream is 350 plus 15. So yeah, nothing to do there. Oh, we could probably do something in here actually. Let's have a look at wildcard and see what we've got. So we've already got a 250 there as well already. So I've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 85, Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> I've got 89 quid in there. So there's, um, that's fine in there. So I just leave that in there. Let me try and put these on the top. Okay, so that's looking good. Uh, 1050 challenge. Don't know if we can actually do anything in here. Um, so we've already got in placeholders 850. Um, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. Oh, nearly. Nearly, could almost do another 100, uh, but I can't, never mind. So far, we've got good money in here. Like, it's not bad at all. 2K challenge, let's have a look. So we've got 500, 750, 850, 950, plus 50. <gasps> that's a 1K, that's a 1K, that's a 1K. What have I got, what have I got, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh, we're gonna have to b bust open this one. But do you know what? For the sake of it, yes, I'm doing it. For the sake of a 1K slip, I will 100% do it. Yay! By the way, these are the uh, placeholders that you get on my Etsy store. There's a six pack and you can get these individually as well. I'm really only interested in this 1000 one here. So I'm literally going to take that out 
and that out and put a 1K in. <gasps> so that means it's halfway done. It's halfway done, bestie. Okay, well, this binder's done. So I think that's the only thing I've been able to do in my first two binders so far. But now I've got my 4K binder, which, oh, just look how thick it is. Now, it's mostly because it's coins, but you never know. So let's see. I don't know if I can get any placeholders out of this. And I want to try and keep as many coins in as possible. So I've got 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. So if there was a 50 placeholder, uh, I could do it. But um, I don't really think 50 pounds is a lot of money like for, for me with my needs at the moment. So I don't really have a 50 placeholder yet. But 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, sort of maybe 60 yard pound in this one. So that's looking good and healthy. Uh, this one here is for the eight sided dice. So this might be a bit of money. 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Let me count that. 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Wow. First 1K, not 1K, first 100 slip there. So I'll put this one in and we're looking good there. Nice. Okay. So next, I wonder if we can get anything out of this one. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20. So 120, so if I keep the 20, this should be 100. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. <gasps> Again, wow. Okay, I'm glad I did this now. Cause there's, this is like the saving challenge that's deceptive. You save up money so slowly that you don't know whether it's happening or not. Okay, moving over to the next one. I wonder if we'll get anything out of here. This feels thick actually. 20, 40, 60, 70, no, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, same as last time. So if I take 20 away, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. <gasps> okay, another 100 a placeholder here. We're doing all right here. Uh, what's this one? Okay, this is the 20 sided dice challenge. I can see we've already done a placeholder in here. This feels thick. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. <gasps> okay. And then loads of fives. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. <gasps> okay, right. I keep going. <gasps> I'm surprised. Right, if I take 55. 55 here, this should come up to 100. Or I could do 250, couldn't I? Hold on, that's 100. Hold on, what's that? <laughs> that's, okay, hold on, 55. If I take five, this should be 150, and then with this makes 250. So 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 150. So if I take all of this and swap it for this, we're looking good. Oh, I want that on the front actually. I love that placeholder. Okay, let's try this one. We recently did uh, a 1K slip in here. Uh, that's my 1K slip there. And okay, it looks like it's rising. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <gasps> I need to stop doing that. <gasps> I'm annoying myself now. Right, okay, so this should be 100 here. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Okay, 1,130 already in this. So we're almost halfway through that challenge. What? I want these on the front, actually. I want these on the front. Okay, right. So there's quite a lot of these uh, placeholders that I've got. I've got a mixture of old ones and new ones. I hope to one day use them all, but um, you know, if I don't, it's all right. 
I mean, it's very rare that I get to, one day I'm gonna be able to use these twice. So it's gonna feel good when that happens. But um, yeah, I'm just pleased I got to use this yellow one. This is probably my favorite out of all of them, to be honest. Okay, right, placeholders tidy. Okay, so calculator time. We took 50 pounds from the 2K challenge to add to make it the 1K placeholder. And then we took 550, that's not difficult maths. We took 550 from the 4K challenge, so we should have 600 pounds. So here it is. Um, okay, I'm just gonna sort it quickly. Okay, right, let's get this calculator back. So let's start with 20s. So 24681, 24682, 24683, 246, so 360 plus 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 140. Okay, I'm 10 over. Hmm, let me recount. Okay, glad I figured that out. What I've actually done is I've counted a 10 as a 20. So yeah, uh, 600 pounds to go back into my bank and start gaining interest is a really good, healthy thing. There is far more money than I was expecting. So that's really, really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this into my back to bank folder and I'm gonna take it to the bank, chuck it in, and then I'll see you back here um, towards the end of the video where I'm putting that into my digital thinking funds. Hi besties, back home now. Normally what I would do is I would go to my bank, which is in that west, and draw in the money, which means I have to drive like 20 minutes to my nearest town. However, someone told me on a live a couple of days ago that I can actually do that in the post office. So I thought I'd try it out. I was wondering whether I could actually put it into my Monzo account straight away, but you can't do that. But you can like draw, put in any amount of money into like a major UK bank. So I was like super excited about that. So what I need to do now is I just need to move all the money around into the accounts. So let's take a quick tour of my Monzo. So, as you can see, someone's joined Monzo. Somebody's just joined and like that happens like quite regularly now. So when you join Monzo, you get a fiver and so do I. So here's like evidence of me getting a fiver and Natalie, I hope you enjoy your fiver too. Okay, so as you can see, I've got 600 pounds in my current account there. So what I need to do is just move the money to where it needs to go. So first of all, we need to put 50 pounds into the two K challenge, which will make it 1K. So put 50 pounds in there and that has made it 1K. Come on, do it. There it is. Oh, oh, I love it so much. And then the rest, the 550 goes into my 4K challenge. So let's go add that in there. So that's that. So it's 1,650, which is about, I guess it's about 30% of the way there. So that's like, that's like really good. So let's go over all of my sinking funds. So first of all, we got 200 pound car maintenance. We only just topped that up to six uh, to 200 pounds. Water we emptied for the bill, but I think I've got 85 pounds in cash. Floaty is empty. iPad is 600 pounds and I know I've got some cash as well. Tattoos 350 in the bank, but I've also got some cash for that too. Uh, 1050 is at 850. Wow. 
Wow. Yeah. Uh, 2K is 1K. Um, 4K challenge, we've got 1,650. And then my emergency fund is 4,264.22. But as you can see, that's in a, a pot that accrues interest. And so is the Simon and Gracie. So yeah, they've only done like £1.65 interest, but that's that. So yeah, that is my little tour of my sinking funds. I hope you enjoyed them. And I hope to see you again next month when we do the same thing again. It's fun, this. Hi guys, guys, my bypass. Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you aren't gonna comment, please use this emoji. I hope you enjoyed today's video because I really do enjoy making these videos because they're super, super fun and they really, really surprised me. A lot of people say, oh, I don't have a lot of money. I'm on very, very low income. I couldn't even save a tenner. I mean, sometimes I can't save a tenner, so I save nine pounds and those nine pounds bestie they really really add up so even if you feel like you can't do it even if it's one pound even if it's five pounds it will add up and it will make a difference in the future so don't quit before you start bestie my best advice in terms of sinking funds is just do what you can don't overstretch yourself and soon you will have more money than you realize Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. Thank you for having your eyes on the video. A extra special mega thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support me. Without you, a lot of this can't happen and it truly means more than you will know. If you would like to join them and support me over on Patreon, please take a look at the link in the description. You will not regret it, bestie. Until next week's video, which I think is gonna be a goodie, I would like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week and have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And bestie, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.